basically had kind of a double zero in bend and Teal was able to secure us a ride with a lady who's a trail angel in the Oregon area that we're going to be rendezvousing with at 4 p.m. Um, and she's going to take us up to Cascade Locks with, I believe, two other hikers as well. So um, we're just going to go down here to, what's that place called? The Yacht Club or something like that? Yeah, the Midtown Yacht Club, and we're going to chill, maybe have a beer, and see if we can find some food or something to hang out until she comes. We'll be leaving Ben, headed up to Cascade Locks. Pretty cool. Replica, but yeah, it was made by a woman. Very cool. Seven. It was like it was like fifty degrees up there. But it's not gonna be no fifty seven in the morning. No. 
No, so I can see why somebody was sleeping in clothes. Yeah. Yep. Good to go. All right. Good job. Yep. A little unorthodox, but. Yesterday afternoon, we got a ride from local trail angel, Carla with a K. And we rode out with another hiker who's starting at the same location who goes by the name of Hollywood. And we got a chance to hike with him for a little bit last night. And uh, he's out ahead of us now. Uh, he, he pressed on a little bit further than what we did last night. And... Uh, we decided to lay it down before it got dark um, and then just get up this morning and, and continue on. We actually slept in this morning, which felt like great. So we probably won't get a ton of miles in today, but um, you know, sometimes you got to listen to your body and just um, avoid the alarm and um, you know, let your body do what your body needs to do. So, um, yeah, yesterday it was cool, man. We went to the Timberline Lodge, which, for those that don't know, it's a place that was, um, a lot of The Shining was filmed, and it was the Overlook Hotel in the movie The Shining from back in the day. Um, so it was kind of neat to, to get a chance to, to see that. We originally had planned to bump it around to Cascade Locks, however, since Hollywood was coming here, um, yeah, we, we thought we'd we'd go to the same location and um, that way we can do this this section up to Cascade Locks, which is about 50 miles. We've got more than enough food than what we what we need. So had we known, we could have carried a little bit less food with us getting up to Cascade Locks. But nonetheless, it's going to be kind of a uh, a lot of net downhill on this section leading in so it's not a big deal and, and we'll just uh we'll just maybe eat a little bit more or carry a little bit more or, but in any event it's, it's good to be back out here we just went through a little water crossing um over the sandy river and uh thank goodness for this gut hooks app because if it didn't have gut hooks man it would be pretty difficult to to know if you're on trail or off trail or where the trail's at. So it's very handy to have this. Um, yeah, um, so, because <laughs> a lot of this stuff isn't really that well marked in some areas and then you start hiking it and you're wondering, oh, am I on the right trail or, you know, where is the trail? And there's a guy just behind us. He was, we watched him walking around in circles for a little bit while we were crossing the river and, and he's he didn't know where it was at so he's following us now that we're back on trail but um, should be a good day this area is super beautiful 
Um, reminds me a lot of the coast without the redwoods, but um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not so sure when this windstorm came through and, and did all this damage, but um, it obviously hit Oregon pretty hard because we've been dealing with uh, these blowdown areas that's due to a windstorm apparently that came through. And I mean, we're talking blowing these trees, just the root balls just right out of the ground, just 30 to 100 year old trees that are just being uprooted so um, yeah it's been pretty crazy a lot of a lot of slow moving uh, travel and navigating through this and hasn't been a whole lot of clearing at least in a lot of the sections that we've been through but uh, yeah, it's all part of it I guess Changing our socks, airing our feet up because uh, the water crossing this morning. So, yeah, pretty nice afternoon, and these nice ladies have just offered us some water. So, isn't that sweet? Pretty nice. Hey, we really appreciate it. Thank you. There was a comment on gut hooks posted probably about a week ago that said through this section that we're walking right now there was over 200 down trees um, and then the guy stopped counting the number of trees the, the crews have come through here and done a fantastic job of uh, opening this portion of the trail up so you know hats off to the folks that are working out here we definitely appreciate it Yeah, yesterday turned out to be a pretty decent day despite uh, all of the obstacles. We probably had about 200 trees by the time it was all said and done that we went either around, over, or through. Um, and uh, yeah, today we're going to be headed down to uh, an alternate route heading down into Cascade Locks. We're inside of 20 miles of Cascade Locks and we're taking an alternate route down to uh, Tunnel Falls, which should be pretty cool. So we'll, uh, we'll show you what lies ahead here shortly, but we're just kind of watching a pretty awesome sunrise come up this morning and uh, picking our way down the hill.
Look at that sun shining through over there. That is cool, huh? Thunder Island. Smash burger. It's going down. Yeah, so we just uh, had a couple of smash burgers and a beer. And uh, when we were checking out, the waitress informed us that some some patron had decided to pick up our tab, so our check had been covered. So that was totally unexpected and super uh, sweet. Yeah, complete surprise. So uh, yeah, shout out to some trail love from, from folks here at Cascade Locks, but hey, check it out, look at this. Boom, oh, look at that sign, huh? Gotta get a picture by that. You know what? What? I can stand on here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Give me a little height. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Cascade Locks.
pretty good little spot here tonight. Uh, dude gave me a couple of beers in town, and uh, I only drank one of them, so I'm going to leave this one up here for somebody else. A little trail magic. I'll, I'll bury it in the creek here. I think somebody will find it. Keep it nice and cold right there. Yep. So I just ran into this guy, and uh, maybe you could tell me uh, what your name is and your trail name. Okay. <laughs> My name's Jeff, and uh trail name's Jazzy. Right on. And uh, he's headed northbound as well, and I'm pretty glad because he's going to accept the beer that I left in the creek. So yeah, That's a fantastic uh, trail magic. <laughs> you get way away from town. Yeah. Yeah, man. I hope you enjoy it. I will. I hope Thank you, you enjoy it. You bet. You